Always. As always. <laughs> always making me laugh right when we first start. Welcome. Welcome to your daily dose with Robert Cochran and Susan Relax. It's just Evan Parkinson. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we were about to dive into storytelling. Right. The the importance of storytelling to us and, you know, as an offering, I, I think what came clear yesterday, especially through the dialoguing, and this is what's so important about all of what we do, it's not monologuing, right? Sharing and hearing, being ready to learn at all times. Stories seem to really matter to the audience yesterday once they understood, oh, I have a story to tell. Improvs, the, the very loose format, like, okay, that's the play, and that's, there, there's this. Story is, wait a minute, do I actually matter enough to have a story that matters to others? There's a, there's a much harder, I think, barrier to clear for some people to tell their story, first from a vulnerability standpoint, secondarily from a, a worthy, worthiness standpoint. How does that sound with you? Yes, yes. I think I would have used the expression, give myself permission. Yeah. And, and the word worthy, that's coming from the same place. Um, and and the second aspect of it is, does, does it matter who, what am I going to do? What, why? Yeah. And my personal experience as an evolving student of this art form, this form of exercise, uh, is that I've learned that the word story is really, really much more complex than I would have thought. It's quite layered. Yeah. And there's stuff often built in that I don't see until I really dive into the story. It, you know, the, the proverbial onion that gets peeled back. It's a tried, it's a not tried and true, it's a trite and banal reference. But it's so meaningful because that's what happens. These super thin layers get peeled back yeah. and there's still more in there. So I've, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of story. We, we don't recognize what's in a story or how much our story impacts everything we're seeing until, you know, we, we have it reflected, I think, through someone else's eyes. Someone else looks at it and goes, oh, you know what I thought or felt? And we go, that's what you heard? That's what you saw? This is why, I mean, the old line about this, and I know this from having written a lot of screenplays and some stories that have been out for public consumption. I'm the worst judge of my own work in terms of its public appeal uh, because I know how I feel about it. I've got a screenplay to this day that bugs the crap out of me that more people don't love, but I keep telling myself, leave it. <laughs> because it's not, it's time is not right. It, it, got, it got its turn and it didn't go. Oh. And other ones took off and immediately said, oh, yeah, that's great. And I went, geez, that was that felt like nothing. That's the one you liked. And so <laughs> right, we don't know. We know. Right. We don't right. know what our stories mean to other people. However, we have learned from Ray Dorsey and the guys that wrote in the Parkinson's that it is the telling of the story that gets the world to shift and and see things and hear things. Differently. So it's not just the story, but it is you know the story well and 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 the story it's the it's not the surface level story it's breaking past that right too because people who look at their story go oh sure i'm this and i re recite that fact and i'm that and blah, blah, blah. it's it's kind of like i guess it, this is where improv does cross over in terms of how we play it that you know you have to engage your senses you mm -hmm. have to engage your emotions you can't if you're going to tell a story that's going to impact on that level just tell people the upfront the thing that you probably know. We got to go in the house, look into the cupboards, open up the uh, the sugar jar. I mean, if you're gonna, oh, you know, oh, is that sugar in there? No, I, thought that I, was, I hope. Oh, I thought that was espresso. It's oh my. granulated. Uh, we can oh. go from there. I'm not sure what that was, but um, that that's the idea, right? Of, of getting to you know from the outside looking in, going that's that's a surface level too. Oh, these are the finer details. And you know what? I've got a jar of sugar just like that in my house that I didn't know anyone else had. And all of a sudden, you've pierced the heart of somebody. Yes. To what to you might have been a, a, a flip detail. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean about getting there. It's not just story. Like, you said it very well. It's, it's an incredibly layered and nuanced thing. It needs to be worked and massaged. And I think it takes a village of, of eyes looking at it and you know and that's what i love about the way that the, the day one program is going to be constructed is a f 
endpoint for each of us in the class will be something that we don't know what it is. I don't know how you'll even guide us, but it, it, you know, we're meant to have a something. That's a good place to go to because when we talk about a potential endpoint, one of them came up yesterday um, was Boys of Summer. And you know we saw that as an endpoint, so I want to jump to that in the next daily dose uh, related to the YETS and Exercise Festival in Texas. Be right back.